Hello, I'm Sonoma County Sheriff Mark Essick. This is a critical incident community briefing about an officer-involved shooting in Santa Rosa on August 1st. It started with a call from security guards about an armed robbery at the Santa Rosa Plaza Mall. Security guards said a man was trying to steal a pair of shoes, and when confronted by security, the man tried to stab one of the security guards in the face before leaving. This is an evidence photo of that knife. Deputy Edney responded to the area and found a man matching the description walking on Morgan Street. He asked the man to stop, but 42-year-old Brad Bayman of Minnesota ignored our deputy and continued to walk away from him. Deputy Edney uses a taser to no effect and then runs in front of Mr. Bayman to stop him. That's when Mr. Bayman turns around, walks to the deputy's patrol car, and gets inside. When Deputy Edney tries to open the door, Mr. Bayman appears to brandish the knife before the deputy backs away. Deputy Edney then fires his service weapon. This video contains graphic images and language. Viewer discretion is advised. We begin with our dispatch recordings of the incident. Santa Rosa 911, what is your emergency? Hi, I'm calling, I'm calling, from, Ma I'm calling from Macy's. I just had an attempted stabbing. Okay. Where Are Macy's Cottingtown or downtown? Down, uh, 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 Plaza. Okay, do you need an ambulance? No, it, he was unsuccessful. It's, a, it's an African-American male. Uh, he is walking on the uh, west side of, our, of, the, of the mall. Okay. Does he have his, all of his plant, uh, pants, uh, no shirt? No, he's wearing, he's wearing a brown jacket. He has a red bag. And uh, we stopped him because we're making that the protection. And he's wearing our shoes. And then he just attempted to stab my manager. Okay. He's in the parking garage right now. Does he take, did he take the merchandise? What was that? Did he take the merchandise? Yes, he has the merchandise. Okay, one second. And which garage is he in? He is in the north garage right now. What kind of weapon? It's a knife. It's a it's a pocket knife. And who? And what do you do at the store? You just what? What do you do at the store? You. I wonder if okay. I'm the asset protection manager. He literally tried to kill us. He literally tried to kill us, ma'am. Like it was like he tried to stab us in the neck. Okay, we have a bunch of officers on the way. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Shots fired, shots fired. I got one suspect down. Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Do not move! You understand? 
for any right call mistake. Do not move, you understand? Do not go for that knife! I just shot him. He's not moving, he's talking though. Where's the knife at? Where's the knife at? It's on the what? Did you just throw it? Don't move, you understand? Do not fucking move. He just threw the knife just now, I don't see where it is. There it is, right there. Um, look, I can grab it. Put on gloves and grab the knife. It's right at his feet. Just be careful. Can you try to, to yeah, if you can. Can you move? No. You want to rip him out? I'll keep the gun on him. Yeah, I'm good. I'll keep the gun on him. You guys pull him out. We just took the knife from him. I tried to tase him, and he. I tried to tase him. He ran from me, and he jumped in the patrol car. fucking tried to tase him, I tried to tase him again, and he fucking bolts toward my car, and I, I left it exposed like an idiot, and he jumped right in. So, it's like... Yeah, I know. I know. You get that, you're not hurt. Yeah, I'm not fine. As soon as I tried to open the door on him, he fucking tried to... It looked like he was trying to go for the knife again, so I backed up, closed it, and he was trying to put it in drive, and I just shot him. I was like, he's not taking my fucking car. After doing a 211, tried to stab somebody. I got my gun in there, my rifle. I don't know. I just feel like an idiot. He ran into my fucking car. The fourth thing is, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, where's he hit? Uh, I shot at him from the front, of the front of the side window, so I'm uh -huh. assuming on the side in the chest area. Okay, so, but I couldn't see it because he immediately fell over on the passenger side. Okay, was he getting your car or something? Yeah, I, I tried to tase him again, and then I tried again, and none of them worked, and he bolted from my car, and I was on the other side of him. And he jumped in and closed the door. I pulled the door open, and he looked like he was trying to go for the knife again. So I let him close the door, and then I said, don't go, and he okay. took off, and I, so I shot him through my window because I was, he's not okay. taking my car. All right. Especially if I have weapons in there, and he just tried to stab somebody. Okay. So. You want to, uh, drive it? Yeah. You want me to just hang out with you? Sure. Okay. Said his name is God. Hey, so, uh, tell us something, right? Yeah. Just for, uh, and I know it's not for me, it's going to be for your sergeant, but, um, your public safety, how many shots you think you fired? I think I shot, uh, four or five. Did they all go in the car? Or is there they any all went in the car. Okay. I was Amy Adam and down. Okay. Right at them. Okay. I'm not even, I'm pretty sure they're all in the car. Okay, good. Yeah. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Call your wife. Yeah. Go off and call her. We present this video without drawing any conclusions about the outcome of the investigation 
or whether the deputy's actions fall within established laws or the policies of the Sonoma County Sheriff's Office. The Santa Rosa Police Department and Sonoma County District Attorney's Office are investigating the robbery and the officer-involved shooting. The Sheriff's Office is conducting an administrative investigation. While these investigations are still ongoing, we feel it's important to provide as much information as possible when we have a critical incident. We are thankful that Mr. Bayman is expected to make a full recovery. We are also grateful that our deputy, security guards, and other community members weren't physically injured. We hope this helps you understand what happened that evening. Thank you for watching.